So I've been holding this video in the vault for a very long time, but I'm finally going to talk about it. Kendra G's gathering in Philadelphia oh, really? was empty. And I believe I walked past, it was like, and the crazy thing is I was with my man. I was on a date. That's the crazy thing about it. Middle. So oh, I'm um, walking through the, sing the Kendra G singles live Philly and nobody is there y'all. Hold on, look. She was like, this is it, like this. And I said, well, did a lot of people leave? And she said, no, like, cause I thought I got there on the tail end of the party and she was like, no. It wasn't a lot of, but what the part that got me is she said, only two men walked in. But this is the truth. I'm gonna say this. There are so, and, and we gonna talk about the guys too, but there are so many women in America who have given guys their body, but don't nobody wanna be a legacy with them. That is where feminism come from. Just think about it. It's women out here who will lay down with this dude, lay down with that dude, and you know we men, we'll see them as long as we can. But nobody want to build legacy with them. If you're looking for a man, you're never going to get one. Because you, cause you, you know, you have that, that look. It was like, 14 women and then that's not even including the women that were in the back it was like groups of women in the back getting drinks and it was two men two men and the part that kills me is that one of the men right and this is what when women say they don't compete for men it kills me because deep down inside they do they just put in the front and say they don't but they do in real life outside right one of the men pulled up in a black bentley truck like while I was at the de desk, because he was looking for parking. So another man pulls up in a Bentley truck and walks to the front and everybody got up out their seats, looking up, looking at the door. Yeah. See, when you got paper, you could get almost any to do what you wanted to do. When you got paper, the magic of paper, I ain't even got no paper. I ain't got no real paper. You would be amazed at what I get these to do for the little nickels and dime. Well, I got to sit out here having break there and gun that boy. Look a certain way. Someone who is 6'2 or taller. Um, someone who is averagely fit. I'm not going to say 100% muscular because I'm not, but someone who's fit and can do outdoor activities with me. Okay. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Yes, and I already know the comments are going to say something, but minimum 200k. Um, and that's only because of what I make and my lifestyle, and so I need someone to keep up with my lifestyle. Sure. So I'm assuming your <laughs> children's dad made that amount of money. Well, he passed away 12 years ago, so I've been oh. a single mother their entire life. So this is. So 200K, so if he made 100K, don't reach out to you. And here we go, straight out the Modern Woman Playbook. She's demanding the top 1% of man, six foot two, $200,000 a year. And of course, her baby's dad made nothing close to that. That's why she skirted the question. And yes, she is the 50 percentile in the face range with the child in tow expecting a man to come on in and save the day yes he needs to match her energy she has a passport well if he had two hundred thousand dollars a year he's not matching anything you're getting on his program and that's the way it works and that's why you're single because you don't think you can get on a man's program you dig nobody want to be a legacy with him so i call them <laughs> the tolerated women <laughs> that's a good one they're tolerated Everything they do in our presence, we tolerate it to get what we want, then we get away from it. And that don't make us no better, fellas. But the main goal that I'm trying to get to in this conversation is we can't help the women who don't get chose. In Monique. Monique, where you calling me from, boo? Oakland, California. Oakland, California? Yes. How old are you? I'm 41. Yeah. About 41. Say again, love. 
I'm gonna be 42. When's your birthday? What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. Oh. Okay. What kind of man you looking for, Monique? I'm looking for a Mexican person. I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm into Mexican. Are your children's dad Mexican? One of them is. So why do you prefer Mexican men over black men? We haven't had sex in two years. Mm -hmm. Are you waiting for a Mexican man? A way to I get married. Oh. oh, oh, oh. So you're not having sex again until you get married? Mm hmm Okay. And women, y'all, y'all have me laughing. Oh my God, y'all think y'all put us on punishment when we drop you off at the house? It's so funny. Here they go. <laughs> None for you tonight. <laughs> None from you tonight. I just gotta drive across town. <laughs> Greetings, you polite savage. Let's get ready to rumble! Ladies and gentlemen of polite savages, we're now about to embark on a journey guaranteed to anger modern women and harlotins alike. The only thing that we can guarantee is that we tell the truth and nothing but the truth as we see it. So hold on. Are you ready? Let's go. The Kendra G Dating Show does not disappoint when it comes to seeing delusional women who absolutely believe that they are the top 1% in the face and deserve the top 1% of male walking around in the West. Can you imagine a lady Demanding a man who makes $200,000 a year over six foot two, the top 1% when she has a child in tow. Well, you don't have to imagine, just turn on Kendra G and you'll see it. But what I really wanna talk about today is the way that this type of attitude is really diluting the modern dating pool. Cause a lot of dudes are just checking out, deciding to get their passports, go other places, or just really not deal with these ladies of the West anymore because the delusion is on level 1000. They're super scion delusion. It's kind of ridiculous. Well, kind of is a euphemism for absolutely out of their mind. Bonkers with delusion. And Kendra G had a mixer in Philadelphia. Well, her mixers are usually super successful. A lot of people show up. A lot of people pay money to meet people. But what happened in Philadelphia? Empty. And this is just a symptom of what's to come. You see, a lot of dudes have decided not to deal with this type of ridiculousness anymore. Because ladies don't understand one simple fact. The average man has settled. You are not what he wanted, but you had one of the maybe five characteristics that he needed and he felt like he could build with you but you're not here to build with men anymore. Oh no, you better find yourself somebody already built, already successful, already ready to go. And a lot of your sisters, I gotta say that when you find that man and he's already with somebody else who was there from the beginning, you get upset and start claiming why he gotta go with the white girl when he gets a little money. Well, ma'am, maybe you passed him up a while ago. And let's switch gears a little and talk to them about these sisters with these poor selection details. How you have three kids by two different men or four kids by four different men or whatever you have, whatever combination, and none of these guys meant anything. Oh, they didn't work out because they wasn't this. Oh, they didn't work out because they wasn't that. Well, it seems like your selection mechanism is very defective because you've made four mistakes that caused you to have kids and now you're looking for someone to make it all right. Guys just really don't want to sign up for that, you know? In results, I mean, as a result, they get upset with themselves in the world. And they come up with words like feminism instead of telling, you know what? I, I sleep with these guys, don't nobody want me. <laughs> I have two boys. How old are your two boys? Six and three. Six and three, both by the same man? Yeah. Why are you not with this man you had a baby with three years ago? Cause he don't want marriage. I want to be a wife. One thing that I'll be peeping that be common is to be having a resume full of bad relationships. Like, like ain't held the right down yet. And so what that tells me is your ability to choose is already sketchy to say the least. Uh oh. So whatever, whatever grading system you got over there, you keep passing failing students. So I don't even think I need to, 
I don't even think I need to f around over there for real, for real. Like and Kendra G even has her own app now. She's making big moves, making big money, and nobody's going to hate on her. Ma'am, your show is garbage, though, because there is no vetting process. You see, if you're going to bring people together, you have to have some type of basic common ground to understand from. We have ladies coming up here demanding six foot five guys, $200,000 a year guys, $100,000 a year guys, and they ain't never ever been around any type of that person of quality who wanted to retain them. Yes, they've been ran through, ran over, ran about, but never, never ever chosen. And these unchosen women come up here and now they're gonna go to a gathering. And guess what? You're unchosen, ma'am. That means that the men aren't going to show up. Men aren't showing up because the showing that Kendra G has is way, way, way ridiculous to really take seriously. Yes, there are some great catches on there, but man, you have to dig through and have to comb through so much garbage to get to the jewel that even that jewel kind of smells like, well, garbage when you get to it because you've been in garbage. And guess what? The only body who wants to deal with garbage is garbage men, and they're compensated for it. But these ladies are gonna act like you're gonna do this and dig through this garbage for free. A matter of fact, they want you to pay for the privilege of hanging and dealing with their social and personal and physical garbage. Make it make sense. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. This one just left me down in 2023. I made it! I made it! How's my lighting? Where's Atheon? Where's Spice? Where's D Nice? Get in my back! This is some scary sh. Don't like, nobody want me. I give my body, my throat, the extra room in my house. I, I told my son he got a shared room with his daughter. <laughs> they never get chose, dog. So and if you ask her, okay, what are you bringing to the table? She so can't really tell you nothing. She is I the am table. the table. But all day she will say, then I am the table. <laughs> For sure. But the table sits in one place <laughs> all day waiting for something to be put on it. Yeah, it's yeah. useless up until, yeah. That's there's some tables. On it. Again, there's no foldable tables that's gonna get up and go to work and come back. <laughs> I don't want a table. Mm. I don't want a chair. Mm. I don't want furniture. Yeah. <laughs> that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a trophy wife. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm looking for a wife that's gonna do the side of what I, as a man, cannot do. And the thing about American women is that they have this unfortunate mentality, and I don't blame them. Yeah. It's just the way they were raised, <laughs> because there wasn't a man there that they could see the dominance. You know what the crazy thing is? They have so much influence in our women. Thank you for watching the Tip Network. Follow us on all social media outlets and ask yourself one burning question. Can you handle the tip? Boom, we're out. <laughs> we found true happiness.